React Query, what is it? Introduction. React Query is a powerful data fetching and state management library for React applications. It has automatic data caching, optimistic updates, declarative API. It provides declarative and manageable data fetching and state management within React components. You can use it as a React hook. It integrates with React hooks. That's why when you use React Query, there is a hook called Use Query. So let's take a look at some key features. React Query provides several key factors, right? We've got declarative data fetching. It simplifies the way that we can actually define our data and handle it during back background updates and error handling and also caching. We can manage queries, providing refetching statuses and managing the query lifecycle, right? To optimize the performance of a web application. We've got real-time updates, mutation, dev tools, server-side rendering support, everything that you could think of with this React query provides. This is how it works. So we've got four steps here. So we've got the fetching the data, we cache the data, we manage the state and update the UI. So first, React query follows a simple four-step process. Okay, here we go. So obviously number one, we fetch the data. I, mean, I don't know why it's done that. Hang on a minute, I think I need to change that. So that actually should be number two, not one. So don't worry about this, but here, why it's done that. But essentially this is one. So it fetches the data. Second, we cache the data automatically using React query, which allows us to reduce unnecessary network requests we manage the state by using loading or success states right while we fetch the data so that's how we manage the state and obviously through this we can update the ui based on that state right ensuring a smooth and responsive responsive user experience benefits of actually using react query shows simplified data fetching so we don't have to have use effect and then use the regular built-in javascript of ef7 fetching data right, using the fetch method. We don't need to do that. We've got React Query, and it's a lot better when we actually handle that data. So it provides a better user experience. It's easy to learn. It's quick to get started with, and it has real time updates. And of course, React Query has its own documentation on the Stan Stack or TAN stack uh, website. Uh, error handling and retry strategies, right, we can implement retry logic, improving the re uh, reliability of data fetching. This is a lot of benefits to using React Query instead of using a uh, use effect and then using fetch, right? And then not having to loop that more than once. So React Query can allow us to manage the way we handle our data. So basically it's a it's a data state management or query management tool. So actually let's take a look at this blog here about React Query. So this is a beginning beginner's guide. So let's just jump to the point. So what is React Query? Like I said before, I've already showed you that, but let's just go to the querying. So here we go. By submitting a query, you can search for data that meets certain requirements. Now we can see there's a query in React Query because this library is in charge of handling and making queries as a breeze. Since we know what querying data means let us perform the basic data fetch with react query right so we come down here we use the we import it by using use query from react query we use axis which basically replaces fetch from javascript and we can here we go so we've got a function here so we've got retrieve post it's an asynchronous function because we are waiting on the request and we're waiting we're waiting for the request to get this json response for posts or whatever this is so we can say const data or const response. We are waiting axios.get, that's a method to go get whatever's at this URL and we return the response, response.data, right? Now, since that data is displayed, it's gonna be displayed as JSON format. So now there's another function called uh, display posts and essentially we've got, now we've got different states. So we've got the data, which is posts. We've got error and is loading state. And now we is equal to the use query hook and we're gonna be calling it posts data and we're gonna retrieve the posts. That's what the uh, function is called. So if it is loading, just return fetching posts. If there's an error, then display that there's an error message. Otherwise posts.map providing the key and we just loop through that data instead of retrieving it and not putting it onto the page we retrieve it and we display it on the ui on the front end so that is use query so it completely changes the way that we use use effect and the fetch method in javascript so here's another one here's mutation using the mu use mutation hook or crud operation if you don't know what crud is that's i think 
that's create, read, update, and delete. Note that the JSON placeholder API doesn't actually store the created, updated, or deleted data, but to be sure for the operation we made, it will either return a success statement or an error statement. Create, create To create a post using the use mutation uh, method, we can create, I mean, hook, you sorry, use mutation hook, create a component and name it create post, and now we can see here what it actually will do. So we've got use mutation. So mutation, use mutation is for a new post. And if there's a new post, we submit that as. So we've got mutation.mute. And then we're passing in the props, you see. So we've got the we've got the properties. Or actually, no, this is the state, because this is a function called create post. We're using use state to see if it is true or null. And we can see here if it sets it to the body, it stays it at that. So if there's a mutation and if it's loading, we return that. If there's an error, we say that there's an error. And if there's a success, we say that it's posted. Now we can actually see here if we have set the title, we've set the body text, right? It has set that and we've submitted the data. Now we can come here and actually see the results. Now we can actually see the update post method, right? If we come down here and we can see some results. So that is the basics of React Query. I've got, I, I think I will do a video on this, but obviously I think I'll do another video on this regarding this topic. You can read through the documentation, which I'll leave below. It's on the TAN Stack Query website, where you can read through how React Query works and what other what else does it provide we can see here it provides all these methods and all these hooks that you could use within your project and they've got examples here for you and guides to look at so <clears throat> we've got simple we've got a simple application here to show us how it works right we've got a lot of examples here right so th there's a so this is how you would do it if you weren't using react query right so you would use the fetch using use effect and setting the state in this case we don't need to do that right again Again, using this and it's just a mess it's just long code it's unnecessary and it slows down the application obviously this is good but obviously so now if we come down here and we'd actually use use query right let me so this is use query right using react query so we use the query is loading state data and error we query through the fetch requests and we re return the JSON's response less code to write it's easy to read it's more readable it's clean and that is that. So I'm gonna leave a tutorial. I mean, I'm gonna leave a. I'm gonna leave the websites in the description below. So if you want to continue looking at this, you can. I'll do a basic project on this. Maybe like something that will to do with full stack. I don't, I'm not sure. I'll get around to that. If you are interested in seeing a project like this, leave a comment down below on what you would like to see in a project. Do you want me to do a clone of something like Twitter or? Maybe you want me to build a social media site using these technologies. So, you know, React, you know, Next.js, React Query, all these types of things, Tailwind. You want me to do that? Just leave it down in the description below. Give me some heads up. Let me know what projects you want me to do and I'll get back to it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'll leave these links down in the descriptions below. See you then.